Hey everybody, Sharon here from Gimmeact.com. Here we are today back in the Shattered Bloodline update to Dead by Daylight, going for the Conniption achievement. This is to down 30 survivors using the Spirit's Haunting ability. This one's going to be done from the killer side. You are going to need to play as the Spirit for this, so make sure you grab her from the DLC pack or from the in-game store. For perks, anything that gives you the exposed status on the survivors is going to be super helpful. So highly recommend Haunted Ground, which is going to be one of her perks. But if you have No One Escapes Death, also recommend highly running that. So once you have your setup in place, make sure you get into a game. The way the Spirit's ability is going to work is basically you're going to hold left trigger to phase walk. You are going to turn invisible and get a nice little speed boost. However, it's going to come at the cost of not being able to see the survivors. You also cannot attack nor interact with anything while phasing, so make sure you do keep that in mind. So what the achievement is going to count is going to be any attacks that you are going to land after coming out of a phase walk. Also keep in mind that these are going to be attacks that need to down the survivor in order to count for the achievement, so make sure you first injure a survivor. You want to make sure you hold left trigger to face walk, even though you can't see the survivors when you are phase walking, you can still see the scratch marks they leave behind. So you're going to kind of need to predict where they are when you come out of the face walk. Once you come out of the phase, just make sure you try to locate them and land a quick hit. As long as you hit them within a few seconds of coming out of the face walk, you should get the count for the achievement. So the best time to get these are going to be when survivors are trying to bait you into loops. What you can do is you can injure them make sure you pressure them into the loop and then make sure you use your face walk to trick them in to a spot where they're going to be the most vulnerable, which is more likely than not going to be behind a pallet. This is going to be a cumulative achievement, so thankfully you can get this done over multiple games. So just make sure you just keep playing games and keep up this strategy. Again, the best place to go for your face walk hits is going to be loops, because it is going to be easier to predict where the survivor is going to be, which is more likely than not going to be around the pallet. However, if you do see a vulnerable survivor out in the open, make sure you do take advantage of that. You are going to move faster during your face walk, so if you are able to predict where they are going, you can make sure you punish them before they get you into a spot where you don't want to be, and then make sure you punish accordingly. If you are having trouble, remember to take advantage of those perks that give you Expose. With Expose, you can hit a healthy survivor and they should go down in one hit, so you're going to be able to get the sneak on people without having to injure them first. This is going to be especially helpful during the end game. Once they get the exit gates open, what you want to do is you want to make sure you face walk, make sure you put your back against the exit, and then make sure you quickly turn around and down anyone who's trying to make the last push to escape the game. And of course, no one escapes death is going to be super useful for this because it is going to give you expose at the end game countdown. So make sure you do punish accordingly. So you should be able to get your 30 in no time, not super grindy, and once you do, you should be good for the achievement. 20 gamer score for this one, and that's all there is to it.